Abu Anas al-Libi pleaded not guilty to charges that he conspired to kill and maim U.S. citizens. He looked older, grayer, and frailer in the courtroom than in the photographs circulated by U.S. authorities after he was named as a suspect in the 1998 bombings of two U.S. embassies in Africa. According to court papers filed in 2000, al-Libi provided surveillance of the Nairobi embassy for al-Qaeda. He was one of 21 suspects named in the attack, which killed more than 200 people. But it's what al-Libi knows about al-Qaeda's current operations that government officials are most interested in. After the U.S. military took him into custody on the streets of Tripoli on October 5th, al-Libi spent 10 days aboard a naval ship at sea where he was questioned without an attorney present. That drew complaints from the Federal Defender's Office appointed to represent him. While al-Libi's attorneys say his rights have been violated, conservatives in this country say he shouldn't be given the same rights as an American citizen at all. They say he should be taken to the Guantanamo Bay detention facility where he can be tried and interrogated as an enemy combatant. His presence here in a civilian court reigniting the debate over how to try terrorism suspects in the United States. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.